What is going on guys? So this is the final invention video. If you're watching this, that means invention is released because I'm going to release this video uh, right with the release of the actual skill. So this is going to be the final video. I'm going to show everything. I'm going to explain it the best I can. I know that invention um, as a whole is kind of scary to some people. It's confusing. It's confusing on RS3, the actual skills. So I'm going to do my best to explain it. If you still have questions, I would suggest uh, you, you can, you, you know, I mean, you can, you can ask in the comments below, you can ask in game, but I think just messing around with it yourself will help a lot. I think once you actually like, start doing everything, it'll be a lot easier to figure out. So, to start off, you're going to need some money. Now, you don't need this much money, but you're going to need, and I'll show you. So, if we go to invention, that's how you get there. Uh, so you'll have this dude and this dude. You don't actually have to do his tutorial. It doesn't even really that help that much, but if you want to, by all means. So these are the schematics. Now, people are a little bit confused as to what these do, so I'll, I'll explain. These are like your recipes. Think of them as like a recipe. You're trying to make some, you know, you're trying to make an, a meatloaf, and this would be your uh, <laughs> meatloaf recipe. So these are one-time purchases. Some people are confused if you lose these every time. No, you do not. So, um, if you're starting off, the first things you're going to buy is the device. And if you notice, I did change some of these prices to, to make it a little more noob-friendly. So, buy your device. That is the bare minimum. Like, if you don't have the money for a garden pie, that's not necessarily a, a problem. But you definitely need the device. That is, like, the main thing you need for invention. So, that's the reason why I lowered it, the price. It used to be 75 mil, now it was 22. Uh, so, we'll just start off with that. And then, the garden pie is the first recipe you can make. So, uh, in one of my other videos, I mentioned that you need... 80 cooking to start invention. That is no longer the case. It definitely helps, but it is not necessary anymore. And the reason for that is whenever you disassemble items, you do get a little bit of experience. So it is possible to go past uh, level 1 and then level 10 if, if, for 99 Herblore and whatnot. So um, so here's some stuff in here. We don't need any of this now. So I'm just going to show you like how is, it's all going to work. So you've bought that. You have your gun pie. You know, like I said, you don't need this. This is the first thing you'll make, but you don't need it right now. Uh, and you can go start disassembling items. So if you already have an account, because obviously this is just a new account I made right now, you can disassemble whatever items you want. And the full list of items you can disassemble is going to be on the forms. Uh, I've already made it. It's not like it's rough, like it says, you know, seeds, all herb seeds, and whatnot. So it's a little incomplete. It's not perfect, but it should provide all the information you need and which com which components, and whatnot. Um, it's not going to look like this. This is just the, the the testing version I've been using to write everything down. And I'll have this in the description below. So starting off, you're going to want to get the organic components. That is the first component. So you can see you can get logs, seeds, ores, bars, herbs, raw fish. Um, if you don't have any of that in your inventory, you can purchase some from the this shop. Go to farming store and then purchase away. Now I believe the uh, torsal seeds give the best and they're not that pricey compared to like lanthanum seeds for whatever reason. So buy a good chunk of these, however many you want to, however many you can. And then get your inventory, does not want to move, set up something like this. And as you can see, I'm getting 5 experience per. So this isn't like the main way to train invention, but if you don't have the cooking level, then this is the best way. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the person it shows you is the last person you talk to. I guess that's not true, because they talked to Oldak first. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you can see where you got level 2 invention. And you can see we're getting these components. So if you want to know what uh, what you're needed to make a garden pie, and it, the one stands for the level needed, if you will, you can examine it. So if you examine it, it says you need a summer pie plus 2,500 organic components. So we already have 5,400, so we're on our way to making our first item with invention. Now, as I mentioned, no, no 99 cooking. Or no, 80, you actually need 80 cooking. So we can't do this, but I'll get the level in a sec to show you how it will work. But boom, you don't have 80 cooking. So let me get the level real quick. Alright, so we gave ourselves the 99 cooking. You only need 80, but uh, it's easier to give 99. So, if we use the components on the pie, we make the garden pie. And we just got, I think it's 750 experience, so we can already jump up to level 8. So the second item you can make is the overload, which requires 99 herd lore. Now, if you don't have these levels, your best option would be to just grind out these 5 experience at a time. Honestly, I would just get the 80 AD um, cooking, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, wh however you, you choose to do it is your call. So, disassemble these and we can make some more pies, 
Boom, boom. You can see how easy this would be starting off, because you can literally just buy everything. And if you already have, like, logs and whatnot in your bank, which most people will, you're set to go. So these right here heal, um, I believe, 20 each slice. So that's the best food. And there's technically two slices, so it uh, should be interesting to see how that plays out. So there we go. There's that. So what are we at now? 15 inventions. So if you don't want to get any of those levels, your main goal would be to make it to something that doesn't have a level requirement. So if we look at the shop... You have uh, magic beans right here at 20 invention. There's no level to, uh, required to make them. The issue with them is they're kind of expensive because it's normally, it's like considered a one-time, you know, fee and whatnot. Um, amethyst arrows, enchanted logs, all those. Those don't really have any skill requirements. So you really just got to get these past, past these first two levels. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself 80 invention and then we will show the next thing. Okay, so now we are at 80 Invention. That is your main goal. Um, and if you're wondering how you get the experience, everything that you make gives you a good chunk of experience. And uh, it's it's mostly based off of how much you, how many components you use. So this Magic Beans, for example, that uses a lot of components would give 35k experience. And that's pretty good at that level. And then stuff like, um, uh, let me film something like this Lucky Amulet right here would give, I think it's 175k experience. And then I think like the imbued eyes, like one mil experience. So you can see how some of like the bigger items have more experience. And then the literal items that you can like repeat and whatnot, um, such as like the amethyst arrows, the garden pie and whatnot, they give lower amounts of experience. But the main thing you want to do is get to level 80 because at level 80, you can buy the augmenter. That is the first thing you need. So that is the bare minimum, the augmenter. Um, and what that does is with the components, the 150 corrupt and 100,000 uber, you can augment an item. In case you're wondering, you can uh, you can disassemble things like twisted bow, but I wouldn't recommend it because 250k components is compared to like five dragon harpoons. So don't do it, but you can. <laughs> so we have the corrupt components, we have the uber components, we have the uh, recipe. Now we just have to go buy the I believe for an augmenter it is a medium cog. Just says cog, but yeah, should be in the shop. Purchase the cog, and now we can make it all boom. Oh, it's 150k. There. Okay, so let's use our component. I think you, um, yeah, there we go, right there. Augmenter. So now use that on rapier or whatever item you want to augment. There are a couple of options. Uh, let me make sure I don't show my P because I think the old forums do show IPs. Uh, here are the stats and all of the items that you can make. These are the boosts and whatnot. So if you want to take a look at this here, you can. Um, so let's uh, make this an augmenter. You should have lost the augmenter. So <laughs> glad I tried that now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so just pretend like this is not here. Uh, so equip that and does have the plus five strength bonus. So now what you want to do is train. The cool thing about Invention is it's kind of like a bossing skill. Once you get to 80, you boss away. So, um, as we kill it, you can see nothing's really happening. Now, uh, every damage you do, uh, multiply that by 10. So, there's 20, there's 10. That is adding experience to your rapier. So, in a second after I finish killing this thing, I will show you how much experience we have, and uh, I will give you the... Uh, I guess I'll just show you what it would look like if you were to disassemble it. Um, there's six levels total. Uh, six is the highest, so obviously every uh, every weapon you... Ooh, I should make those non-aggressive. I should really make rock crabs in general non-aggressive. Just so you don't have that problem as a newer player, but... Um, yeah, once you once you get to level six, you can, you, you're can you done. And you'll get a little thing in your chat that says you've completed level six. Actually, it'll show up every single time you level, but... Uh, there, and then you'll also get a banner as well, so shouldn't be too hard to miss. And there's really no, you know, just just keep track of it. It doesn't. It's not very quick. So if we look at it, we killed two, and we got a hundred. You know, we got that much experience. So I will give you the experience rates. Give me a sec. Okay, so these are the XP rates. Let's keep killing. So basically, in order to get to the first milestone, you have to do a thousand damage, which I know it might seem kind of hard because I'm on like a level 43 account. But if you're a main account, that should be no problems at all. And then if you were to try to disassemble it, you should get 100k experience. Um, I'm saying that because I'm not 100% sure. We'll, uh, let me uh, kill a couple of rock crabs and we'll find out. 
Okay, so I just messed around with the rates a little bit, but uh, should be fine. So, at 5,000, I believe, is when it gains level 1. And if we use it on here, it should be 55k. Uh, like I said, I changed the rates. Let me see where we're at now. So, yeah, 5,500. So if you're wondering where the extra bit of experience comes from, every item that is augmentable uh, has a flat rate, and the lesser items, such as the Whip, Master Wanted, Crystal Bow, give half of the experience of a Rapier. So if I was to train this to... Oh, that's right, it doesn't have a level requirement. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, let's uh, train this to level 1, and we'll see what this gives. Also, just want to point out, you don't have to kill Rock Crabs, you can kill anything, you can boss. I'm just doing this for testing. Okay, so we just got level 1 right there, and you can see it does say in the chat. Also got a nice, powerful, easy clue scroll. Let's take this off, see what we got right here. So yeah, it should be level 1. And then, should, as you can see, it is 3,500. I believe these rates are not the updated ones like that I just made, but <clears throat> either way, you get the point. And the reason for that is, for example, like if you wanted to disassemble this thing, which is this right here, this process right here, do not do this normally. This is disassembling. When you disassemble, you get full experience, but that removes the item, so you will lose the item forever. Now, if you don't want to lose the item, because obviously, it, so obviously you don't want to lose the rapier. That's why the abyssal whip exists in the first place. Well, I've also just so if you don't have a rapier, because obviously rapier is expensive. But um, so this right here, this process will remove the item. Now, if you want to keep the item, you're going to need a siphon. So let's go back to invent. If you didn't know that works, I think I've been typing invention every single time. Uh, so let's get ourselves the schematic first, so we know what we're doing. Uh, siphon. And while we're here, we'll get the dissolver as well. I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, so let's get the, uh, let's examine it, metal sheet. And then we need some dark components. I also would like to point out that noted items do not work. So you do have to have the unnoted version. Let's get ourselves some whips. This is Dark Components if you're wondering why I'm doing this. Boom, 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 boom. What did I say we needed? 100k. Okay, so there we go. So we should be able to make it right now. Boom. Uh, boom. Well, only one of the components works, and it's the... Um, if you look at this list I made, the, the in-game one is wrong, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, if you look at the list I made, right... Ah, oh, shit, that's probably my IP. Rip. Um, right here. It'll tell you the first component is the one you use. So with the siphon, now uh, let's let me now if you're disassembling it, as you can see, you get 55. This is full experience. If you're siphoning it, you get 2750. So you get half. So that's why uh, you, if you want to save your weapon, you'll do it. And, and I'll show you. And it says you'll you'll keep the item, but you'll lose all experience. So we keep the item, doesn't lose the siphon. He fixed that. I just have to update. Uh, and then no, that's not what I wanted to do. Check experience. Now you can see it's back to zero, and it used to have like 5k or something like that. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is the dissolver. This basically just removes an augment. So if we examine this, rare components. Alright, so we get these nice little crackers. Whoa, green party at, blue party at. Do not, do not do this. Because <laughs> uh, with a lot of invention items, you have a chance of getting an amount of components. Uh, so for example, a party hat would be up to 500,000, but it is random, so you could literally just get one. So I would never risk it with red components. I got kind of lucky there. The one, the one forty is probably low, but don't do, don't do the big items. Uh, so we should have enough to make the dissolver now. Uh, one hundred seventy-five. Of course, we don't have enough uber components. Reep. Okay, got another T bow. That should be it. So use the uber components on a pipe, which we have to go purchase a pipe. Boom, Dissolver. So what Dissolver does is it removes the Augment. So if you have a Augmented Rapier and you decide you don't want it anymore, you want to sell it or whatever, use the Dissolver on it. Boom, Normal Rapier. So now it's tradable again. So that is it. If you have any questions, let me know. There is a pet. I'm not going to show it to you. So you're just going to have to get it. 